Good morning, everybody. This is Avi Abelo here in Jerusalem, the united and undivided capital of the Jewish people here in our ancestral homeland, Jerusalem, and me from IsraelUnwired.com. So thank you so much for watching this morning here in the land of Israel, and I want to start something new. And this is a Jewish prayer series of videos. Personally, prayer is not so simple, right? I'm an ADD type of guy. The real power of prayer is when you're focused and you have, in, in Hebrew, the word is kavana, right? You have, you're, 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 you're focused. You're, you're focused in what you're saying. You're having intent in what you're saying. It's not just a rote of saying words. And for me personally, as an ADD type of guy, not so simple always to be focused and be able to internalize the special, uh, the special prayers and the words of the prayers. Someone is mentioning, is my voice okay? Yes, Dan, my voice is okay. I'm just very hoarse because uh, the holiday of Simchat Torah, of singing and dancing with the Torah, showing our happiness is, uh, is one where I am very, very active. I'm usually very active, but especially active in singing, active and dancing, so my voice took a hit, a big hit. I'm, I'm hoarse from all that singing and dancing. So what I wanted to do is, first of all, before I go into um, one prayer at a time, I wanted to start this series by actually just t touching upon the three most important prayers that I believe which are the fundamental bedrock of what Judaism and the lifestyle that God gave us through the Torah uh, gives to us. And it's right there in three different prayers that we say every day. After that, I'll go into other prayers as well. So today I wanted to start with the first prayer. All right. And before we start, I just wanted to say that if anyone, if anyone uh, enjoys and the supports the work that I do with videos inspiring people with the truth about Israel and the Jewish people, please just click on the link that uh, is on this post and help however you can. All help is appreciated, and most importantly, share the video. All right, so I want to start with the first prayer that I believe is critical to understanding the underpinnings of the lifestyle that God gave to us through Judaism. And we're starting with a morning prayer. It's actually first said in the morning, but it's a prayer that is said throughout the day. Why? Because this is a prayer we say after we go to the bathroom. And you're like, what? A prayer that we say after you go to the bathroom? Yes! And I can't tell you how important and awe-inspiring this prayer is just when you go to the bathroom. And again, this isn't you do, do, do once a day, you, you, not even twice a day. You go a number of times a day, and each and every time when you come out of the bathroom, a Jew is supposed to say this blessing. So let's go through this blessing and, go, and, and then go into why it's so critical to the underpinnings of what a Jewish lifestyle is all about, what God gave us. I'm going to read in Hebrew, then I'll translate in English. Baruch atah Hashem Elokeinu Melech Olam. Blessed are you, eternal our God, majesty of all words. Asher yatsar et adam bechachma. You, God, who formed the human being with your wisdom. And you created it with openings, chalulim chalulim, and with hollows. Galui viadua lifnei kisei kvodecha. It is revealed and known before the throne of your glory. O yisatei mechad mihem, that if one of these openings or hollows would burst, o yipatach echad mihem, or if one of them were burst or blocked or opened, there'd be no uh, there'd be no way to exist or stand in your presence. Blessed are you, our eternal one, healer of all flesh, who works wonders. Okay. To me, this blessing is mind-blowing. 
mind-blowing. And there are a couple of different things in this blessing. First of all, the beginning of the blessing is focused on our understanding that God is the creator. He created our bodies. That is first and foremost a underpinning of understanding of of the universe, of the world, of our belief system, how we're supposed to live. We have to internalize and appreciate that God created the world, God created the universe, God created our bodies. Okay, that that number one, most important thing. Then it's understanding. There are holes and hollows. And if you think about it, uh, in terms of the body, the body is the most complex creation ever. More complicated than the biggest mega computer yeah, our bodies i mean if you're a, if you're a doctor or if you're ever sick and you have to go to the to, to a doctor or the hospital not always do doctors know what's wrong there are so many things there are so many different systems that our body is made out of and obviously the brain is what tech, what, what brings it all together and tells the hand to move and the heart to pump and and the finger to move and for you to feel this way and forgive me doctors if i'm not explaining everything exactly correctly but the bottom line is our bodies are supercomputers. There are thousands, if not tens or hundreds of thousands, that have to be working correctly at any moment for our bodies to work, for us to be healthy. How often do you appreciate that? How often are you thankful that you're healthy, that every single part of your body works? And even if some parts don't work, the rest of your body works. Out of the tens or hundreds of thousands of things, in your body that has to work. So basically, this blessing that we say each and every time we come out of the bathroom is thanking God that our bodies work. And it's something so basic, but yet it's something that so many of us take for granted. And Judaism and the Torah and the God, God's lifestyle that he gives to us is based on the fact not to take anything for granted, to have an attitude of gratitude. In order to have gratitude, you must appreciate what you have and also what you don't have, but still be thankful for what you do have. And the most basic thing we all have, forget about money, forget about a house, forget about family, in order for us to wake up and start our day is first and foremost realizing I open my mouth, I'm breathing, I can go to the bathroom, my holes work, my body works. Do you know how many people, for, for how many people it is not simple to go to the bathroom or there are pains when they go to the bathroom? There are plenty of people, yet regardless, we must be thankful that our bodies work how they work. And yes, even if one is sick or even if part of your body is not working, you still say this blessing. You still appreciate what is working and you still live that attitude of gratitude, showing how thankful you are for those parts of your body and your anatomy that are working. So this one blessing is what I call one of the three most important blessings that show the bedrock, the foundation of the lifestyle and belief system that Judaism, that God through the Torah gives over to the Jewish people to then inspire humanity. And it's just the basic understanding, never take anything for granted, not even our bodies and never our health. It is the most important thing. I say health is the most important thing. I get that line from my grandfather, I love Shalom, when he used to have a line saying, what's the good word? Word, right? He used to ask everyone, if you asked him what's the good worth, he would say health. Health is the most important thing on life. Everything else is a cherry on top. Thank you everyone for watching. This is Avi Abelow from Israel Unwired here in the eternal and ancestral homelands of the Jewish people sitting in my office in the United City of Jerusalem, our capital city, for thousands of years. Thanks for watching everyone. If you liked it, please share.